Revelation 2331. From the 11th of May 1942. Jesus Christ overcame death. Bound beings. Jesus Christ overcame death, that is he broke the power of evil. Its influence on the human beings will was so strong that he could not free himself and succumbing to this power meant death for his soul, for the souls which had to completely bow down to it were so far removed from God that they were completely outside the range of divine emanation of love and thus had to lack all strength, which resulted in a state of complete inactivity, thus lifelessness. The state of death is a state of agony for death does not mean being extinguished. The being is still subject to evil power and constantly has to do its will by oppressing all beingness which still wants to turn towards the light. It is only able to carry out evil but incapable of any good impulse and action, for the strength to act evil comes to it from the power of darkness, but the strength from God is completely lacking so that the soul would be unable to carry out anything even if its will wanted to turn towards good. This was the state of all humanity before the descent of Christ. The power of God's adversary was so great that it forced their will under itself, so that even people who wanted to be noble and good could not carry out their will because the powers of darkness constantly harassed them and prevented them from doing good wherever possible. It was a struggle between light and darkness, in which darkness usually won and gained more and more power over the creatures whose will was bound by the power of the one who raged against God. And death and darkness were the lot of those as soon as they departed from the world. And Jesus Christ took up the fight against the power of darkness. He opposed God's adversary, he opposed him with a will which was stronger which the adversary was unable to subjugate, and he freed himself from his power already in earthly life. For the strength of God was with him which was able to flow towards him because his earthly life was a life of love, thus he was in the realm of God's emanation of love and was able to receive God's strength unmeasured. And thus he showed people the path they also had to take in order to liberate themselves from the power of the enemy of their souls. He had overcome death, that is the state of being bound by the will, and thus also the one who had bound the will. He had overcome death, which was the inevitable consequence of succumbing to the will of the adversary. The state of powerlessness and therefore inactivity, which is unspeakably agonizing for the being. In order to redeem all his living creations from this unfree state he accomplished the act of salvation by opposing the will of the adversary with his will, by being willing to sacrifice his physical life in order not to let the dark power win the victory. He completely subordinated his will to God's will and thereby deprived God's adversary of all power. He overcame him and thus the death of souls. Amen.